2018 is the big year for Dundee's v and Museum of Design. The £80 million building on the city's waterfront is due to open its doors in the second half of this year. It's hoped it will attract hundreds of thousands of visitors every year, bringing a massive boost to both Dundee and the Scottish economy. Andrew Anderson reports. The early morning sun catches Dundee's v and Museum. The hope is this building will help bring a new dawn for the city. It's more than two and a half years since building work began. It's been a challenging project for everyone who's worked on it. I've never ever worked in a building like this before and uh, I'd be very surprised if I work in another building like this in the, the near future anyway. The V&A is part of a £1 billion project to reconnect the waterfront with Dundee city centre and this street will be one of the main routes down to the museum. Good, and what would you fancy? Businesses like this 1950s themed tea room are convinced the V&A will be good for them. I'm a bit of a nostalgic person, like old fashioned buildings and things, but it's really grown on me now and um, it's there and as I say, it's a wonderful monumental building and part of the city now. The V&A will tell the story of Scottish design. This jewellery designer believes Dundee is its rightful home. There are designers of all walks of life, all different um, fabrics, textiles, jewellery, um, sculpture, all over Dundee. Um, it's, it's just, it is a city of design and I think that's why the V&A belongs here. What's happening within these walls now is under wraps. In the coming months, the interior must be finished and the exhibits put in place. I firmly believe that uh, v and Dundee is not only one of the most exciting cultural projects in Scotland, but it is also in the UK and, and I believe around, uh, around the world. The ambitions for the v and Dundee are huge. It's hoped it will attract half a million visitors to the city in its first year. Until now, the challenge has been to get this building ready for them. Now the challenge will be to get them here and to keep them coming. Andrew Anderson reporting Scotland, Dundee.